Hey everyone, if you want to make your own podcast but you don't know where to begin, Spotify for Podcasters makes it super easy. They've got everything in one place, it's totally free, and you can make money while doing it. Here's how it works. Spotify for Podcasters lets you record and edit podcasts right from your phone or computer, so no matter what your setup is like, you can start doing it today. Then you can distribute your podcast to Spotify and pretty much everywhere else podcasts are heard. Video podcasts are also supported, and you can even conduct polls and Q&As. With Spotify for Podcasters, you can earn money in a variety of ways, including ads and podcast subscriptions. And best of all, the platform is totally free. No catch, totally free. When I wanted to start my own podcast, I did not know where to begin, and I didn't think it was even possible. And Spotify for Podcasters made it happen. They made it easy. They made it quick. And I am doing something that I love. What more can I ask for? So if you're interested in starting your own show, you can do it. And I highly recommend you give this a try. Download the Spotify for Podcasters app or go to www.spotify.com slash podcasters to get started. Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Everything Kratom, the podcast about anything. And everything. Kratom. Great to have you with us on this Wednesday morning. Today, I wanted to talk a bit about tea, and specifically the types of tea that go well with Kratom. So I'm going to talk a bit about my experience with a few different types of teas that I like that go well with Kratom, and then I'm going to tell you my favorite, and the one that I think works the best in terms of not only I just, you know, I like the tea, but <laughs> on top of that, just the the way that it expands on the effects of Kratom, complements them, maybe even boosts them. There's one tea in particular that, that does a great job uh, in all fronts. So we're going to go over that. So let's get started here. Um, overall, I'd have to say that the types of tea more generally that work best are greens. I do like black tea, and I do like oolong, but green teas seem to be the best when I use them in tandem with kratom. The reason why I think is because of the L-theanine in it, and that is something that maybe you've seen supplements for that they say, oh, we have L-theanine in this, or you know, maybe you even take an L-theanine supplement, I don't know. Um, I've never done that before, I get plenty from the tea, but it's a really nice uh, aspect of of green tea that I think there is some in black tea and maybe in oolong, but it's in a higher amount in green tea. I know that. And um, it's just a relaxing, you know, almost like the warm fuzziness kind of a hug that I typically get from Kratom. I can get that from theanine as well. So um, that's why I like green tea a lot, but I, I do like others. Um, if we're going to talk about the other two first, because you can probably tell by now, and spoiler alert, my favorite to go with Kratom is a green tea. But, you know, I do have some luck with the others. So with black teas, um, any generic black tea, I find there's a little bit of theanine in those. And the bit of caffeine in them, I think it works better that there isn't a whole lot. But the amount that there is seems to work pretty well for me. It usually, like, I like to take my Kratom and then drink tea, you know, over the next 10 to 20 minutes after taking the Kratom. And um, it doesn't work as well for me if I drink the tea beforehand, although it does work, but I find that it works a lot better if I take Kratom and then drink tea pretty much immediately afterwards or like within 10 to 20 minutes afterwards. If I start drinking tea, it'll, it'll still have a really great effect. Sometimes it helps to wait a little. So with that said, I think that my favorite black tea to have with Kratom, well, there's two. I would say either Darjeeling or Assam. I think they're both Indian teas. Darjeeling has a really wonderful, unique flavor. Assam can be really, really strong and have a good amount of caffeine in it. Both are really wonderful teas. They give me a really good boost of energy. And I don't have these teas on me all the time, but when I do, I definitely would go for one of those midday if I'm like losing energy and I'm going to take some Kratom, but I don't know if the Kratom's going to do it for me on its own or I don't want to take that much Kratom. Um, I'll supplement it with one of these two black teas and the energy is made up for easily. So I really enjoy these two, um, Assam black tea and Darjeeling tea. Both of those are great. But with the black teas, I'm not really 
that particular. I mean, I'll take your standard, you know, Tetley or whatever it is. Just buy it in bulk, organic black tea if you can, you know, whatever. But um, but I, I really do enjoy, you know, any sort of black tea without like that additional stuff. The additional stuff being like, you know, orange peel or whatever that they put in Earl Grey. Like, I, I don't need that. I just want the tea. When we're talking about oolong, high mountain oolong is a type of oolong tea that I find works really well with kratom. I don't know why that one in particular works better than others. Maybe it just has to do with the amount it's been fermented, but high mountain oolong tea is just so nice. It's kind of like the midway between black and green, and it you know shows itself to be as such because it it gives me that calming you know warm fuzzy hug effect of of the theanine but um but it still has a fair amount of caffeine in it and and it sometimes it can have just as much as the black tea and um i don't know how much is in high mountain oolong in particular but i know that it's something that i really enjoy uh drinking with with kratom but getting into the the ones that i'm really most excited about that would be the greens and there's one green tea in particular that works extraordinarily well. First, I'll cover a couple of others. So for any people who are tea nerds out there, you're going to love this. <laughs> so first off, there's dragon green tea, which I think it's called Longxing tea. Um, these are all, for the most part, Chinese green teas, although there's a few Japanese ones. But um, Longxing tea or dragon tea is a really, really nice one. Um, it, it's, it's, I think it gives me more energy than most of the others. I, I don't know how much theanine it has. I don't detect as much theanine in this one, but it's just a pleasant tea. And I find that when I'm taking like a nice red kratom and I'm trying to relax and just hang out, Longxing is a really nice one. I also find that to be true with jasmine green tea. That could be any jasmine green tea, honestly. I'm not thinking of anything in particular, but you know, the rolled up pearl jasmine tea, you know, th that sort of thing. It's so good. The taste is pleasant. It's relaxing. The jasmine's a nice touch. And um, again, I really like relaxing with a nice red variety of kratom with that one. But then there's genmaicha. I think I'm saying that right. This is a Japanese green tea, genmaicha, and, or genmaicha never sure. Genmaicha is a really nice tea because it also has roasted rice in it. It tastes really good. The roasted rice helps with stomach issues. So if you have stomach issues uh, of any sort, it's often very uh, settling for the stomach. Uh, it has less caffeine or, you know, it's on the lower side of caffeine in terms of green teas. And I find that it almost puts me to sleep sometimes. So it's a really relaxing one, but with that in mind, I actually do like taking this one with like a nice green type of kratom because if I took it with a red, I think I'd just fall asleep. <laughs> so, and if that's your goal, then, you know, go for it. But, um, but usually I'm not trying to like fall asleep. And so I, if I'm drinking Gemmaicha, I'll have that with like a nice green variety of kratom. It's a very relaxing experience but um the green gives me a bit of energy and allows me to really experience it and the tea is very complimentary to the to the relaxant effects of kratom i also find that this one helps me with a little bit of pain relief actually so that's definitely one that you might want to check out um the last one that i'll go over which is my favorite and i'm going to really go into this one gunpowder green gunpowder green tea Gunpowder green tea is like the bee's knees of the bee's knees. Like if bees had knees, it'd be their knees as bee's knees. <laughs> you get what I'm saying. I love this tea. You don't need much of it. It has a higher caffeine content than most green teas. It also has a pretty good amount of theanine in it. It takes, you know, it, you can brew it as long as you want. Like you can steep it for a minute and get a really nice flavor out of it. You can steep it for like five minutes and you get a pretty strong cup. You can steep it for like 10 minutes and then like take one sip and that's all you need. It's really wild. Um, it gives me a boost of energy right from the first sip within one minute. But the reason why I really enjoy it with Kratom is because it is the one type of tea that I've found 
that no matter what type of kratom I've taken, what time of day it is, it is the magic tea. You know what I mean? It does exactly what I need it to do. And for instance, today, what inspired me to do this episode was I took some white bali this morning, about a gram and a half of white bali, and then I made some gunpowder green tea and had, you know, just a few sips of it within a minute after I took the white bali. And it's like you can feel the tea taking effect as you're drinking it. Like I sip it, 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 you know, I, I drink the tea and it's like all of a sudden I feel this rush of energy but it's building on the kratom. It's like the white bali is being bolstered by this green gunpowder, green tea. And it, at the same time, is like very relaxing, but I'm like hyper focused, <laughs> very vigilant. It wakes me up, it perks me up, it relaxes me at the same time, it relieves my muscle tensions that I might have from Tourette tics or just general anxiety from the day. It takes away my headaches often if I have a headache for some reason. If I'm taking a red variety of Kratom, it settles right in next to that red and gives me a bit of energy, but not too much. Uh, It really focuses on the relaxation aspect of the red Kratom. If I take a white, it builds on that white and makes me work. Oh boy, I'm going to (laughs) work. And if I take a green, it can go either way, but it often will... Uh, build like it's like I can finish the cup of tea but I can feel the effects from the gunpowder green continuing to build after I've finished drinking it because the green kratom is building let's say green mangda for instance my classic go to and it just it sinks so perfectly with kratom my goodness I can't speak highly enough of gunpowder green I think you can get it in a lot of places online and from what I've noticed, they all look pretty similar. So I, I would assume that you're going to get a similar effect out of pretty much any gunpowder green, but I might be wrong about that. Um, but I just get it from a co-op, uh, uh, you know, a few miles away. But um, it, it's just, it's it's the bee's knees. It really is. I love this tea. The caffeine kick is pretty good too. I think it has about, I don't know, 50 milligrams per serving or something like that, uh, which is fair fair amount of caffeine for tea. And and it you really feel it. You feel the energy come from that, um, from the cup. But it but it doesn't overpower the effects of kratom. And I've talked a lot about in the past about how if I have too much caffeine, and especially when it's like coffee, it kind of like kills kratom. It kills the effects. Gunpowder green is nothing of the sort. It like I feel the effects of the caffeine, but it doesn't you know subdue any of the kratom effects ever. And I just love it. So I'll stop talking circles at this point, but I think I got my point across. I, I, I love gunpowder green as my go-to to use with Kratom. And I like to take my Kratom, wait a minute or so, start drinking my tea, drink it over the next 10 or 15 minutes, maybe 20 minutes, and enjoy because the effects are great. You don't need much. Like you can make it strong, but the longer you steep it, the stronger it'll get. It can get pretty strong. So I would only put in a few of the, the, you know, rolled up pearls of gunpowder green in your cup and start with that. So that is my favorite tea with Kratom and I'm drinking it right now. So cheers to all of you. Hope your midweek day is going well and we'll be back tomorrow. Take it easy, everybody. Have some tea. (laughs) All right. Bye bye.